Good day and welcome to Motoro's Music. I am Jeff Thiel, the host of the channel here. And yes, I, uh, I took the dive there, I guess you could say. I took, it's the dive. I took the plunge, the Timu plunge. Now, I've been trying to avoid this, uh, at least buying like bigger things uh, on on Timu. I started out with like some sandpaper, sandpaper sponges, some socks. Socks were great, the sponges uh, great, sandpaper, everything. So I said, all right, now we're gonna start out with, or we're gonna go to, yes, these wireless uh, transmitters for guitar. There it's called, uh, they call it AB UHF guitar wireless system, blah, blah, blah transmitter receiver. Now, when I bought them, I got them for $9.96. As of right now, they are $11.32. Now, for that kind of money, are these things, you know, worth playing out? Are they, you know, just good for kicking around? Or are they just worthless sending them back? Well, that's what we're going to test here. I will, uh, I've got them linked up and the, it's pretty simple. Uh, this one here, well, come on now, there we go. That goes into your guitar and the other one, let's try to do this without causing any issues, goes into the, uh, you know, the pedal or the amp. There we go. If I go into the square. So, and that one I am putting into, uh, my poly tune when I have that running into the T-Rex Molar 2 drive, a great pedal, uh, and then into my 19 uh, or a 68 Deluxe Reverb by Fender. Now I'm not going to mic this up and do a recording because I'm not necessarily testing it for a sound, so you'll hear it through my microphone here. So it's it's not necessarily going to sound great. That's not what we're looking for. What I want to see is, is, is there any latency? If so, how much? And, you know, or do they just work? How much noise do they have? So currently, I'm not really getting a whole bunch of noise. All right, so let's, I'll go ahead and strum here to see if I've got uh, any latency. No, none right there. Uh, I will tell you, uh, when I first started this up, there was some. It was just ever, you know, it doesn't take much uh, to really throw you off. You just feel weird, and it's really hard to play. There are buttons on the sides of these. Let me pause that. It's right in the side. And what that does is it'll kind of reset it, and I think it might go to another channel, perhaps. Something to that effect. It gets reset, and then it'll try to sync up again, and um, then it seems to be just fine. Uh, I did have to try it a couple of times uh, till I got it uh, to where there wasn't uh, at least noticeable latency. So, uh, I'll just turn a pedal on here. Not getting a whole lot of noise. Mostly that's just what was coming from the pedal. It's not coming from these at all. I really hear nothing from them. So let's try it going through another pedal here. Not that that'll make a huge difference, but. So no, no real latency there. But it can, you do have to fiddle with it and hit those, it has a, a reset on each one of these, uh, one of the, the receiver and the transmitter. Uh, and that'll help you get uh, at least on the right channel. There's not a ton of information on Timu. It's not like they're a, you know, they're not a music store that's going to be able to tell you specifics. So I'm just assuming there might be one or two channels that it kind of flips back to, or it maybe just resets the whole thing and it tries to sync back up with the transmitter or the receiver, depending on which one, which reset button you hit. 
So what I will tell you, yeah, for $10 or $11.32, this is perfectly fine if you're playing around the house. I like using this with my, uh, my little, uh, oh, what the hell is it called? Uh, Spark, the Spark Go. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about the cable knocking it over. It is fantastic for that. Uh, it playing out, I would say, hell no. I, I would not trust this thing to go, to go gig. No way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it. I, and I'm certainly not going to, you know, tell anybody to, well, go ahead and try. No, uh, you wouldn't go gigging with these, but it's good enough to have around the house for $10. I don't, you know, free shipping. I don't regret it at all. It's good enough. Uh, so I recommend it for that. Nothing else. This is not going to replace any type of professional wireless system, or at least, uh, a decently priced, uh, wireless system. This is just for around the house. So, so far it's been good. Eventually I'll work my way up. Uh, I'll get a guitar or something and we can try to test that out. But as far as uh, this wireless, yeah, it's recommended for around the house. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll probably do some more of these Timu things. Uh, they seem to be pretty good. They're gaining my trust. Uh, if you have any experience with them, go ahead and write a comment down there. And if you enjoyed this, give us a like. And please subscribe to the channel. Most people that watch the videos uh, aren't subscribed to the channel, so it really helps us out. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And remember, keep rock alive.